Okay, I know, we're only 10 games into the season here, but to say I've been impressed by the Anaheim Ducks would be an understatement. They finished last season as the league's worst team. I made a video about how brutal things were looking for Gibson, who got peppered all year for nothing. But this year, led by new head coach Greg Cronin, who clearly has some fire in him, he got kicked from that recent Penguins game, the Ducks are fresh off sweeping a four-game road trip for the first time in 10 years beating out the Jackets, Bruins, the Flyers, and ripping the heart out of my Penguins with a shorthanded winner with just 12 seconds to go. I am still recovering from that. <laughs> but how the hell is this happening? Let's take a quick look at last night's game, and I think we're going to find some answers. Coming into this matchup against Against the Yotes, who have also impressed a great young team themselves coming off an 8-1 pounding against the Blackhawks, meant we had ourselves a fun matchup that saw the Ducks go up early. Terry, finally getting his offensive game going, scored his third of the year on the power play, followed by his fourth just six minutes later. After a beautiful attempt from Michiakov here, gets the bar, and Terry is left to clean it up. However, the Yotes fought back hard and would tie things up before the end of the frame, with Kraus ripping one home here before Cooley would get his first in the NHL to square things up. Over in the second, we saw the Ducks give up their third straight unanswered goal as Kraus scoring his second of the game meant the Ducks found themselves in somewhat familiar territory heading into the third period down. However, in the third, Terry throwing one on net would find Leo Carlson, the young stud in front, and he scored his third to tie it up, which meant the Anaheim Ducks had another third period comeback. They now have four third period comebacks this season, the most of any team, and that in itself shows that they are building a team with resilience. In overtime, it was a pretty one to finish it. Troy Terry with two in regulation capped off the Hattie as the Ducks would take this one 4-3 to three and keep the train rolling. This one was all Mason McTavish though. Look at this fake out. McTavish seeing Schmaltz had some fatigue, fakes him out, gets around him, creates the two on one, capped off with a great pass for the right handed Terry to be able to handle all around just a beautiful sequence of hockey here. So the Ducks are now 6 4 0 oh, through 10, and they're doing this all with some very promising players. Terry is an offensive player who is supposed to put up numbers, and now getting that offensive game going meant he had his first four point night of his career. Vetrano has nine goals through 10 games. The kid is a pure hockey player. I mean, how can you not love the passion here? His line of Vetrano, McTavish, and Strom has been tearing it up. 16 goals, 33 points between them, with McTavish on a six-game point streak. How about that second goal for the Ducks, by the way? My dark horse Calder candidate for the season, Pavel Minchikov, who has gone straight to the big league with no signs of leaving, looks to be making himself right at home. Currently sitting tied for first in points ahead of some big-name guys like Logan Cooley and Connor Bedard. I sincerely think this kid will be a stud in the NHL. Speaking of Brooks, Rookies. How about Lucas Dostal? The rookie of the month for October with Gibson not healthy has been given an opportunity and the rook has taken it. Five of their six wins for the year have come with Dostal between the pipes. And with his 32 stops against Arizona last night, he now has four straight and leads all rookies with a .920 save percentage. Then we've got a maturing Zegras, who is filling out his game, and while the points have slowed, his game has certainly improved, and it's just a matter of time before the points begin to catch up. This team is absolutely stacked with young talent, and I haven't even mentioned Leo Carlson. All of a sudden, with a solid head coach that has all the talent clicking, this Ducks team is undeniably good. They're a defensively sound team who happens to have plenty of offense to go around. They are set up for success for many years. So, I had to make this video and applaud this turnaround from last season, and obviously, it is early, and whether or not they will maintain this level of play throughout the year, is yet to be seen. But regardless of what happens, if you're an Anaheim Ducks fan, the days ahead look extremely bright. That's it for this one. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. I do appreciate it very much, and I will see you in the next one.